What's going on everyone, Seth Miranda here. If you don't know who I am, I'm a pro photographer right here in New York and I do a lot of demos on a lot of channels and this one that I'm about to show you right now is from Adorama's Instagram Live from back in the day when, when Instagram st started doing lives in the first place. So this is a really cool demo I think with Fujifilm Instax. So if you're into instant film or off-camera flash or DIY solutions or like, you know, rigging things and just kind of like cheat coding stuff to make things cooler, this might be for you. Off-camera flash, gels, double exposure, Exposures, multiple exposures, instant film, it's got it all. Uh, but it's a really fun one. So even if you're not into any of that, I think it's really cool to watch just to see what's possible out there with, if you just think about things for a second, what you want to do and what you can do and just what the gear is and how light works and all that stuff. Check it out, it is Instagram Live, so it's a vertical video. I'm sorry if that's not your thing, but I totally get it if you wanna click off. But if you do wanna stick around, I promise, it's a pretty good demo. So uh, let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to like, it helps this video out and the channel as a whole. Hit subscribe and the bell if it's your first time here. I try to put videos out as much as I can, but I've been jammed up doing videos with so many other channels, I haven't had a chance to come back here, but I want to keep the momentum going because we just hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for all that, and hopefully we can keep this channel growing. I'm gonna do my best, even if it means digging out archives like this, even though I think they're still pretty cool. So a few years old, but still relevant and just rad for all you photo nerds out there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you soon. I'm going live here on Instagram, Seth Miranda at Last X Witness. And usually I shoot live for you guys and we're tethered up and we're digital out beyond belief and you got pixels and all sorts of stuff playing around. Today, we're taking a step back. We're going into analog and we're gonna shoot with instant cameras. This is the Fuji Instax Mini. I'm gonna shoot with this today. And I'm gonna shoot with the SQ6 Square, mini, little, little bit of a square. It's got some really nice little features in it that I'm gonna to use today. And I'm gonna exploit the death out of this thing. You're gonna see some techniques here that this was not meant for, but we're gonna do it anyway because it's my show, I don't care. Just to show you guys how much instant film is really relevant, I shot at Street Dreams' uh, Grammys party back in March, I think it was, and I shot 450 individual portraits for people. And one girl I shot, this is all 450 shots of different people that night. And the one that I remember, I want you guys to know that someone shot me while I was shooting them with this mini food Instax. Now, this is what I remember from that night. Not the 450 shots done with $10,000 in gear and all sorts of tethering, shared all over the place, but we're flipping through ones and zeros, just flying through images. Well, Courtney, I just wanna tell you, I still remember, and I wanna thank you for sending me, actually, you didn't send me, you just handed this to me right over my lighting. You're like, here, thank you. This is what I remember, and that's why this stuff is tangible, that's why it's relevant, and that's why it's so much fun to have this being a pro, you kind of get inundated with like techniques and gear and settings and all sorts of options. But every now and then you still want to just have fun taking shots. And I feel like this is where it's at. So Courtney, thank you. Just to give you guys a quick overview. This is right out of this camera. So the Instax, obviously you have the onboard flash. If I, I have Margarita with me today, I have to give a high five. That's like customary. Hi guys. <laughs> and you can just really quickly go, Oh, it was a brand new pack, guys. See that? Do you remember the dark slide days? Hey, you. And boom, right? And in two minutes, I got something that's gonna last forever, pretty much, in our hearts. No, honestly, I, I tack these onto my wall, and whether they're framed perfectly or in focus, it doesn't matter. It was about that moment and that it's still tangible in my hands. You can hear it. Oh, you hear that? Luscious, actual, tangible materials. Now that's cool. You can take shots all you want. You got selfie mode with your little mirror here so we me and her can just be all like hey and we can see each other right there in the mirror that's cool and fun and that's basically a new feature of the instax so that you can just get in there with it but to me i said mm, how can i make this a little weirder how can i get a little bit elevated with it well i don't know if you guys know this but there's a thing called off-camera flash that i really like and i know we use it all the time so i pulled out my old nikons this is an sb910 this is easily I think I had this flash since 2006, maybe. Optical slave, which means this thing will fire when it sees another flash. Guess what's on this camera? A flash. If I can just make this fire to fire this, but not affect her, guess what? I got an off-camera flash. How am I gonna do that? Well, pretty simply, I'm gonna take gaff tape. Ask questions. This is kind of like not a crazy tech one, but it is a lot of fun. And I gotta tell you, I don't really get to play in the mud like this often. So right now, I'm just gonna make sure that the flash fires into the sky so that this is enough flash for it, this 
speed light to see it and fire, but no flash to hit her directly, and therefore we'll get an off-camera flash. Let's let's see if this works, okay? It's gonna have to work. It has to work. Are you guys in that chat room? Is anybody speaking right now? Yeah, I'm just saying like that's great, old school. Old school, old school. It's it's relevant school. It's now school. Okay. I, I, I always hear analog being regarded as old school it's just another form in my opinion it's not that it's an older technology it's a different technology that's the way i look at it but then again i'm like kind of crazy with it so now this cannot fire forward it will not touch her but this flash will see it so let's turn your face right into that flash and then when i fire this guy in fact i'm going to lower some lights just so that nothing's really affecting i'm going to take off this light so we got a little bit of light i'm going to look at her and boom, that just fired. Now what I didn't tell you was, there's a turquoise gel on that. So in a couple minutes, we'll get to see what this looks like. It'll be like when Julia Childs makes a turkey, she puts it in the oven and then comes out with a, with a totally done one because you didn't want to wait 10 hours. Same deal. So we're going to put this one on the side, but we have other ones that we shot from today. Well, actually they're still going. Okay, so we'll hang out on those. Let's go into the big guy. Let's go into the SQ6. Yeah, if you guys want to take a look, this is what me and Margarita are playing with all day today. So you can see a double face on her. There's a blue face and a rusty salmon colored face. There's also totally exorcism stuff going on. They're saying shake it. Shake it? Okay, okay. We have to address this. You do not shake an instant film print you will break the emulsion i'm not put down the instax and do not shake it i'm not kidding you i'm not kidding you look okay let me explain to you how instax works it's gonna get nerdy but don't freak out there's something called an anti-halation layer so that when this comes out and it looks like it's white it's actually blocking the light from touching what's actually being developed which deteriorates to reveal your photo where does that come from this here is all your chemistry it breaks inside the camera goes through the rollers and then goes evenly across your emulsion. And then the anti-halation layer is there. It breaks away and mwah, photo. Don't shake it. If you do this while it's developing, the chemicals down here will break away from what was in that packet and you will get a broken up line. Could be cool. Or if you show it to a photo nerd like me, I'll be like, you shook that. You, you shook that. Wow, facts, people are saying. Just saying. Okay. Where did you put the gel? Okay, okay, let me go through the light really fast. So this is a Lasto Light Easy Box 2. You want to come around here, Maya? It's a speed light box with two layers of diffusion. Inside is my magical mystery jello style gels. These are Roscoe gels. So when I pick gels, I try to go through color theory. And with Margarita, I, I know that, see the color of her shirt? Like I know that's like a tone she likes. So I made one of my lights that color, but what's complementary to that? Like a teal, a turquoise, not hard green, not hard blue, like something in between that can break into another uh, after shadow, but we're not going to get into color theory today. <laughs> I don't want to talk about after shadow. And I put purple in the background because if I got a teal and I got a rusty color, purple is the joining color. So that can be like something in the background. So it's not just like deep black. Okay, let's mount this. So I said to, when this first hit, I said, Dan, what do you think, Daniel Noren? I said, what do you think there's a tripod mount on here for? And I found out really fast, okay? If I'm gonna have my subject move, uh, everything else to be as constant as much as possible, meaning the position of the camera, so I know where she is in the frame. We just went through this, right? We just were like, this is too far out. This is this, because this isn't an SLR. We're not looking directly through the lens. It's not so much a range finder. You're kind of guesstimating where you're going to put that frame. And it's a square. So there's no like longer ways this way, or she can jump up and there's longer ways that way. It's all boxed in, which is awesome. All right. All you Instagram kids, you love that square, even though it's not so square anymore, right? Go a little bit more, do four by four. His aspect ratio is four or five, I think now. Okay, so I'm looking through this. Okay, so right now my flash is going to illuminate her. How do we fix that? Well, I made this cup, right? Goes around the flash like so. And now it's shooting into the sky. This will not affect her. By the time it comes back and bounces in, it'll die off. How did I get to this? Well, I know that the speed of this film is ISO 800. Why? Because Fuji was gracious enough to write that on the box. I took a light meter and I metered the light till it matched the f-stop of the camera. Inside the instructions of the Instax, it says 12.6. So somewhere between f11 and f13 is safe. So I dialed in my light. That light is about at an eighth power. The background light, an eighth power. And my next light is also an eighth power. I'm gonna set this crazy thing into 
double exposure. Yeah, you want to take a look. Automatic selfie, macro, landscape, double exposure, light or darker. Can't get much more simple than that. Flash on, flash off. So I can do double exposures, one with a flash, one without. If I want to do something with ambient light, different light sources, I can do... We're going to do both with the flash because it's more control. And to do that, I'm going to lower all these lights because these lights will affect the shot. So I'm going to do this in semi-dark. All right, this is as dark as I'm going to get for you guys. All right, you know the rules. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's face towards the blue light. There she is. And I'm just framing her up to be a little more to the left side of my frame. And I'm going to go click. And I watched it to fire. So now I know that exposure. Now that the same sheet of of Instax is in there. Let's make the double exposure. What do you know? I happen to have another one over here. Crazy, right? Don't we all? Don't we all? No? No? Okay. Inside this one is a salmon-y pinkish colored gel. I really like this color. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, in fact, Rogue makes one of the best salmon gels I've ever used in my life. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to handhold this one because now I can put this wherever I want. So the exposure for her is over here. The rest of her face goes to shadow, which means it's black on the Instax. So now wherever it's black, I can make another exposure for her face. So let's lean to me, lean that way, chin down a little bit. And now I'm gonna purposely expose from the other side of the frame. And just to make sure this really fires, I'm gonna make sure the eye of my flash is right, in the, right into this thing. And three, two, boom. So now this flash is on the second exposure. It comes out. Oh, by the way, Instax, really cool move with the black paper. I know this is traditional, but come on. Come on, everybody likes the black. Any questions so far? I know I just got super technical with something that should be super <laughs> simple. Uh, your tattoo in the palm of your hand is so cool because I feel that it's what it represents. Okay, thank you for liking my tattoo in the palm of my hand. There should be another one in here, but I never got to it. So, you know, we'll get to it. Maybe when we go to Europe, I don't know. I'm planning to get tattooed in every city we go to Europe. I'm just saying, oh, this one's going to be sick. I can't show you yet. I can't show you yet. <laughs> well, you can see the anti-halation layer is breaking away. We can see the exposure for her in the salmon, the exposure for her in the teal. And this right here is that background light that wasn't blocked by her shoulder in the blue exposure. So when this fully saturates, it's going to be a pretty dark image. But overall, we have... A very uh, trendy looking shot. I think she's ready to be a hipster band. Do you play the ukulele? No? Oh, she does. She does. But just to give you guys a quick go, like just playing with it with a, with a mannequin head. Green gel in the background. Blue gels. And the reason I'm doing gels isn't just to be cool about like what it looks like. I'm doing gels because I want to see what each light is doing. And that way, if I ever want to do just clean light, like white light all over the place, I know exactly where it's going. The photos from earlier. Uh, so th this is me and her. This is our selfie that we just took. It's, I mean, it's going in the album, clearly. You can actually see that the flash fired the purple gel in the background. So that's kind of cool. No, look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Cool. So I just wanted to show you guys that all a camera is, is letting a certain amount of light in. It's a box that's certainly letting a certain amount of light in for a certain amount of time. This is, a sti is always constant at f12.6. So if I get my lights to 12.6 and I regulate them to be that exposure, I can use as many as I want, you know? Can you go over the cameras again? The cameras, all right, let's pull this off of the tripod. I'm gonna take off my super expensive modification. Graf tape available here at Adorama. Okay, so this is the SQ6 square format, larger than the Instax Mini, which is still, it's not a square. So it's really about format. This gives you rule of thirds, right? Like I can get someone farther over on one side of the frame or not. This is a square, it's a different feel. With the squares, you kind of have to work your corners a little more in the frame if you want to talk about composition and get really in depth on that. But squares are really fun. Um, and I don't think that we get to utilize squares as much as we used to. However, Instagram changed that. And then look, Instagram changed out of square format. So actually Instagram was based off of the SX70 Polaroid camera that was a square. So the original icon was a camera that did square format and Fuji's keeping it alive. Fuji, mwah, thank you. So 
I think it looks pretty good. That's a one shot killer right there. And I, again, the black, I think there's a million different types of paper, right, Maya? Like you can do like happy birthdays. Oh, there's so many different prints. Right? Yeah. yeah, so you can get all sorts of different uh, prints around the border of it, Prince which is a lot of fun. Colors. colors. Yeah. What's yeah. the best way to scan an Instax photo? Get a scanner. Uh, now, the best way to scan Instax is to scan it. I mean, you got to realize going into this, you're not going to get the sharpest image in the world and you're not going to get the most exact exposures or colors in the world. That's the fun of it. It has its own personality. So when you scan, it doesn't really matter how high end you go with the scanner because you're already starting out with something that has its own feel to it. OK, um, keep your fingers off of it if you're going to scan it, because you will see every fingerprint ever on this before you see the image. So if you're going to scan it, do that. Um, there's also companies that make uh, iPhone scanners, which are really cool. It just holds the print in place. It takes a picture with your phone, but it makes the lighting perfect on the pit, on the print. So it's more like a copy stand. Hey, when's the last time anybody heard that term, copy stand? Copy stand. Yeah, you young kids got to learn this stuff. I'm telling you, they still sell them. This is really good. I'm pretty psyched on it. And watch this. Watch this. This is for you. Thank you. And it's the only one that exists. That's it. And that's it. So from now on, she, every time she hates me, she can look at this and be like, that guy, she'll remember. But again, look what I remember. Courtney gave me this out of all that crazy shooting I did that night. And this is all I really remember of it. And this has been in my fridge since, uh, uh, not October, March, right? February. February. Okay. I know months. I don't know. So one is the SQ6 and what's the other one? This is SQ6. And this guy ugh, is, the in, is the Mini 70. What's really cool about both of these if for this particular setup is both are the same f-stop in the lens, 12.6, both use 800 ISO. So this I could use for both cameras, which is pretty cool. Different format. Um, this is clearly a smaller camera. It's a lot of fun to hold or hang around. Um, and for anybody that's just hanging around on set waiting for something, what's more fun than walking around banging out 10 frames, handing them to people, and then they remember to call you back when you want that job again. Just saying. Just saying. A shoe says that you should get a tattoo of a lock on your other hand. Okay, so there's a lock. Uh, there's a pretty big lock uh, ta already tattooed on me. Thank you. Um, we're not going to go into that. <laughs> Where did this come out? Like, okay, so. You brought your hand that tattoo on. I Listen, all my tattoos are keys, locks, razor blades, and eyeballs. And if it's not that on my body, it's hidden in there somewhere. Whoa. That's all I'm going to say. I don't like talking tattoos. So. Raul Papan says thank you. You're very welcome, Raul. Um, listen, this is a low investment for a lot of fun and something that lasts a long time. And it's something people always carry with them. So be that person. Go take those 10 frames out of a pack of film and hand them to people and be communal. You know, if you just gave out regular inkjet prints, I can make a million of those. There's nothing special about it. That print is hers now. That image is all her. I can't make another copy. No one can. And if that goes away, we're all gone. Just cr actually, I'm probably going to get another one. Um, <laughs> well, here's the thing. I keep one in my backpack and one in my camera case. Thanks, Think Tank, for that. Uh, I definitely, they're just, they're just so much fun. And it, you know what the best part of it is? You can hand it to a kid and they can understand why images are so special. And then they grow with it. All right. I'm sorry I'm getting sentimental here, but I really love instant film. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, I'm Last X Witness right here on Instagram. I have a video popping out tomorrow with Lamore Supreme and me shooting him live in his Greenpoint studio. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.